Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy. He joins us live now from Washington with all of the reaction pouring in from the political world tonight. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, lawmakers on both sides are speaking out. Republican leaders are backing Trump, while Democrats want the process to play out, saying no one is above the law. Former President Donald Trump seen golfing in New Jersey Friday with South Florida Representative Carlos Jimenez as Republicans rally to defend the former commander in chief as he faces a federal indictment. Charges from his alleged mishandling of classified documents after leaving office. It's a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax, just like Russia, Russia, Russia. And it comes as Trump shakes up his legal team hours after the indictment. Yeah, we don't have any comment. Jim Trusty and John Rowley, members of his defense team, quit, stepping down from representing Trump in the special counsel's case as President Biden faced questions if he's been in touch with the DOJ. Have you spoken to Attorney General Merrick Garland yet? I have not spoken to him at all. I'm not going to speak to him. No comment on what happened. But South Florida lawmakers are commenting. Congressman Jared Moskowitz tweeted, no one is above the law. It's a sad day for America to see a former president twice indicted. And is there a different standard for a Democrat secretary of state versus a former Republican president? I think there needs to be one standard of justice in this country. Let's enforce it on everybody. And again, this could play out before the 2024 presidential election of the special counsel has said they are seeking a speedy trial. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank you. And stay with Local 10 on air and online as this historic case continues to develop.